There's this screenshot from Craigslist that goes viral every once in a while. It's got a man in some sort of gimp costume floating around in brown liquid. And no, this is not Augustus Gloop from some gritty reboot of Willy Wonka. That is no chocolate river. That is the contents of a septic tank. I pay to enter your septic tank for an hour at a time. $150, Jacksonville, Alabama. Some might judge me for this, but it's what I enjoy. I will pay you $150 an hour to bring my equipment in and gain access to your septic tank. I then have my associate close the tank after I have set my tripod and camera up. Believe it or not, it's a great place to reflect. And he's all stanced up like that trade-off for me. You receive $150, I receive poo water. So what's the deal with this guy anyway? Let's find out on this episode of Tales from the Internet. This video is sponsored by Rocket Money. I'm subscribed to so many services that I don't even use anymore. But you know, I always neglect to cancel them and I just keep paying. And that's what a lot of these companies are banking on. Some of these subscriptions, I just forget I even had them at all. That's where Rocket Money comes in. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower bills, and manage your money better. And one of their best features is canceling unwanted subscriptions. It safely and securely identifies recurring charges and canceled unwanted subscriptions for you. You can even cancel from within the app with just a couple taps. Which is great because a lot of companies keep their cancellation process as annoying as possible on purpose. Rocket Money has helped its customers save an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in cancelled subscriptions. You can also analyze your spending habits to create a custom budget that works with your lifestyle. It automatically monitors your spending by category and you get notifications when you've exceeded your limits. Take control of your finances today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash wang to get started for free. This story right here was actually suggested to me by Wavy Webster. I guess he figured this was more of a me story. I had actually looked into this back in the day and it didn't seem like there was much of a story there. I figured there wasn't enough lore to this for a whole video. Looking into it again, I was completely off. So the oldest version of this screenshot that I could find dated back to 2019. But the man shown here has been around a lot longer. Most popularly in a video referred to as Septic 5, which dates back to at least 2013. Septic 5 begins with a man turning on his camera before putting on his poopy glove. He backs up and sinks into the water, revealing his large body in a latex suit. He's wearing a gimp mask that almost looks like some kind of retro luchador gear. And then he takes a deep gaze into the camera before diving, bringing his head below the surface of the water. But then he comes back up above the surface, rubbing the filth all over himself. This goes on for nearly three minutes. This video, which surprisingly stayed up on YouTube for several years, became the subject of a lot of reaction videos. Popular ones include Your Mom's House and Mega64. And now, the name Septic5 implies Septic1 through 4. And sure enough, there is another video. The earliest appearance of him that I could find was in January 2012 on the Documenting Reality forums. The one that's posted here is a completely different video with the same guy. But its contents are basically the same. And while I was not able to find Septic 2 through 4, I think we can all take a guess as to what those videos may be like. You've also got a sequel named Septic 6, but this one features a different guy. Some type of old wizard looking dude in dirty but not as dirty water. So who is the man under the mask? According to Google's AI, it's Rocco from Mega64, who is a food influencer and was paid $5,000 for making this video. I just, I hate that I have to make a statement about this, uh, but for the peace of mind of my family, my loved ones, and myself, I have to get this off my chest as soon as possible. I am not the man in the Septic 5 video. Google and its CEO have been spreading a false narrative that I have, I'm the rubber suit shit swimmer. There is not a grain of truth to this narrative and I want it to stop now. Every time the video is passed around, someone in my family asks if it's me, if it's true that I got in that septic tank and just submerged, that I just made soup, that I just swam and did a, a little doggy paddle in the shit stew and it's false. If anyone ever calls me a rubber suit shit swimmer again, there will be severe consequences, the likes of which you have never seen. Do not contact me 
do not reach out to me and do not replicate or upload this video in any way or retweet me at any point. Thank you. Some have pointed to a man named Mark Martin, but he's actually a completely different guy who did a very similar video. In this video, he also rolls around in poop water with the addition of touching himself as he does it, but his was framed as more of an art piece. Mark is a French artist whose mission, as he puts it, is to push the borders between public and private spaces. And in addition to his poop video, he's also made books and art exhibitions. But the name that I see associated the most with this guy is Gary Moody. Most sources seem to state that without a shadow of a doubt that the masked poop guy is Gary Moody. So, Gary Moody is a main man. When I say main man, I mean the guy from the state of Maine. I don't mean like, hey, my main man, Gary Moody, the poop guy. <laughs> He's a main man who was arrested in New Hampshire in 2005. This arrest was made after he was found hiding in the chamber underneath a woman's outhouse in a park. He was caught by a 14-year-old girl after she went to the bathroom and saw her looking up at her through the toilet. Dude's a real-life ghoulie. So here's what he said happened. According to Gary, he had been changing his clothes in the woman's outhouse because the men's was full. While he was changing his clothes, his wedding ring fell off and went into the toilet. So of course, he had to climb into the whole toilet to get it. James Sunderland could never. Of course, when the park went through the system, there was no wedding ring to be found. Regardless though, Gary only received a 30-day suspended sentence. As long as he had two years of good behavior. And you know what, he did have two years of good behavior. But then in 2009, he was caught once again underneath the toilet in the same park. The smoking gun sums up this incident pretty well. According to an affidavit filed last week in US District Court in Portland, a nine-year-old boy waiting to use the bathroom noticed that the toilet had been pulled out and was lying on the floor. At that point, a man popped out of the hole leading to the waste vault. After a few minutes, a completely wet man exited the restroom and told the boy, Man, sorry about that. I was getting my shirt. After learning of the bizarre incident, federal investigators immediately suspected Moody had been in the vault based on the extremely rare nature of this type of activity. When interviewed at his home, Moody admitted climbing into the vault, claiming that his shirt had fallen into the waste chamber. Moody claimed that he had removed his shirt and placed it on the seat of the outhouse because he thinks that outhouse seats are dirty. Because you know, if outhouse seats are dirty, that's where you want to put your shirt. After being pressed by the police a bit more, though, he would admit that he's actually done this a bunch of times where he wasn't caught. And now, like I said, I've often seen it taken for granted that Gary Moody is the septic tank man, but I've not seen a single piece of evidence for this. And frankly, I think it's extremely unlikely that it's him. For starters, the septic tank guy seems to just be in it for the pure joy of being in the sludge, whereas Gary was more of a peeping Tom. Furthermore, nothing in the reports talk about any kind of costume or any kind of recording gear. Perhaps he developed this all later on, as the videos do seem to be later than when he was arrested, but to me it just seems like he has completely different motivations. Gary is also not the only man who's been caught in such a scenario. In 2011, you have Luke Ivan Crisco of Boulder, Colorado. He was hiding in a toilet at a yoga festival and admitted to having a series of peepholes all around the city where he would watch women in the bathroom. Then in 2013, you have Kenneth Enslow, who was found in a toilet in Tulsa, Oklahoma. He was caught looking at little girls through the toilet. And then he claimed that what really happened was his girlfriend knocked him out with a tire iron and put him down there. Of course, he had no such injuries to support that claim. So for all of these people who were caught in such a situation, it seems like it wasn't really about being in the poop sludge, it was about looking at mostly children. So as far as I'm concerned, the guy from Septic 5 is basically unidentified. I've seen it claimed that he used to go by the name Septic Man and had a whole channel dedicated to this, but I haven't been able to verify it or find any chatter online linking to it or anything like that. Although there was an unrelated movie in 2013 called Septic Man that features the wrestler Kurgan. There's also people who say that these videos are probably staged because he would have died had he done this for real. Their reasoning being that if not the disease that's carried in sewage water, then the fumes inside of the septic tank. And for that matter, I've seen it said that he did die, including one post referencing an older thread. IDK, but I think this guy died of some disease. I saw some post on a subreddit that said septic five man dead, and it was apparently a 15 year old post. So I guess he got some disease from that shit he was sitting in. So that brings up an interesting question. If there actually was a man going inside people's septic tanks and floating around in it, would he actually be able to survive that? So once again, I asked real medical professional Chubby Emu for his thoughts. Wow, good question. All of this supposes that the septic tank hasn't been heavily treated with chemicals, and we're talking about a dude swimming in mostly just human waste. It depends. 
Does he have any cuts or breaks in his skin that could allow bacteria to get into his body? Is he immunocompromised somehow? Like, from taking medicines or having an existing disease? Those two things could make a life or death difference. Hypothetically, at best he might feel a little ill afterwards, like the flu, if he isn't totally grossed out during the swim. At worst, the bacteria from the human waste gets into his bloodstream somehow and causes his immune system to overreact. That would cause sepsis, which can then become shock from blood vessels dilating, and then cause all his organs to fail because blood can't flow through any of them. The waste touching his butthole while he's swimming shouldn't cause that much of a problem, since the rectum and colon are meant to handle all of that. If he swallows some by accident, it's nasty to us, but so long as it stays in the GI tract and doesn't leak into the blood, probably isn't something that causes death. The addition of chemicals to the tank could change this a bit depending on what those chemicals are. Honestly, when he puts it that way, it seems more survivable than I expected it to. And that's not me recommending that you go do this, although if you're the kind of person that would go do this, I don't think you would listen anyway. But then again, it could cause death depending on a lot of factors, so it's always a gamble. So once again, would not recommend it. But anyhow, that's the story of Septic Tank Man for now. Honestly, I think he's probably dead. But if you like this video, turn on notifications and check out my video about Lemon Party. I'm out.